This clip is brought to you by VegasWinners.com. Get expert sports betting advice from some of the best handicappers in the world. Head on over to VegasWinners.com and win yourself some money. I want to mention um, the Cauliflower Alley Club running a banquet here in early October. It's not in Vegas like it is these days. This time it's in New Jersey. And this is the first one that was ever attended by Vince McMahon and Meltzer would write. So it was heavily WWF oriented quote. There's an irony in that because for years, the WWF and CAC had nothing to do with one another. In fact, in 91, when CAC ran its banquet in LA, which by coincidence was the day before WrestleMania at the sports arena, there wasn't one WWF person at the banquet. And those who wanted to go were discouraged or swerved from doing so, but times change. McMahon was also there to accept an award for his late father, uh, while also awarded in the CAC hall of fame, uh, where any lists, a whole bunch of folks, including the former Mr. Perfect, Jimmy Snuka, Alpha, killer Kowalski, Dominic Danucci, and even Sonny. And there's a lot of folks in attendance, including yourself and your brother, Pat Patterson, Shane McMahon, Luthez. What do you remember about the CAC in 96 and all of a sudden the WWF's here, man. Oh, I would give that nod to Pat Patterson. Um, and probably JJ, but more so, more so, uh, Pat Patterson than anyone. Pat, uh, loved the cauliflower alley club as, as we all did and do, um, they'd never done an East coast cauliflower alley club, uh, convention. This was going to be the first one. And Pat really wanted Vince to experience that. So he, he stayed on Vince about, you know, this would be a great thing to go to. This would, this is something you should go and you should see some of the old timers and stuff. And, you know, contrary to popular belief, Vince is very shy. And had he known that he was being honored, I don't know that he would have shown up. Well, it was his dad. I know, but they did something for him too. Oh, okay. Okay. And that was, you know, one of the things they wanted, you know, they wanted Vince. And I I think if Vince had known that, you know, he, he probably would have done it for his dad. Uh, yes, but had he known that, uh, Hey, they were going to do something for him as well and make a big deal out of it. I I don't know that he would have been as, um, I don't think he, he would have shown. I think he probably would have found an excuse to back out. But it was a, it was a great day, great night. And Why does he shy know. from any sort of acknowledgement like that? It seems like he runs from any sort of praise like that publicly. I think that he wants the company to have the praise, and he wants um, the business to have the praise, not himself. It's like, Hey, you know, we couldn't have done it without the talent, without everybody else and tries to shy away from the one man show thing. And that's just him. He's just, I mean, in reality, he's, he's pretty shy. Uh, talk to me a little bit about, uh, Albano. I ask because this is the report. Reports where it was largely uneventful other than the McMahon appearance. Although there were several complaints regarding Albano's behavior, some saying that Lou Albano ruined the entire evening. The Conan O'Brien show was there trying to make fun of the festivities, asking the wrestlers questions about politics. We'll start backwards. Do you remember Conan's people being there or Conan? Do you remember Conan? No, okay. not at all. What about Albano? Was he just drunk and belligerent? Yes. Yeah. Lou was Lou. And Lou tried to, in between every speech, get in and have comments and just making really inappropriate comments. And I think that a big part of the, the folks from the Cauliflower Alley Club were, were looking to have WWE more involved with them. And this was, you know, the attempt to show Vince and to put on their, their best performance, if you will, and say, you know, here's who we are. And I don't think that Lou helped that a lot. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.